G'day guys, welcome to Lucy's channel, Lucy Lane, the Queen of Belmain. Today, we've got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about, so let's get into it. So, we just had a massive weekend. Uh, Lucy was on her first podcast, believe it or not, that was pretty awesome. We'll, we'll have a link in the, probably in the next up and coming videos when it is released, and you guys can go check that out. She was a really good girl, chilled out for the whole thing, spoke her piece, and then we left. And then uh, um, went for a big walk yesterday. Lucy was attacked, but we'll get into more of that later on. Also have some footage of that, believe it or not. So, but before we get stuck into this, um, I just wanted to answer a question for this lovely person who dropped it on one of our photos on YouTube the other day. And I thought it was no better time to answer it than right now. So the question is, this is their name. I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. But I would love to know how you trained slash socialized Lucy. That's easy. Tips and education and how we got her to be so responsive. All right, so I'm just gonna break this down into three little questions and I'll give you three little answers to your big question. How's that? So Pretty much how we train Lucy, we got an awesome trainer. They showed us the ropes, help us build the foundation and all it is guys, it's almost like going to the gym. It is just repetition and it is practice and it's just consistency. So find a great trainer, learn the basics. Again, it's not to train Lucy, or was to train me and train my wife. And then we could apply these principles, apply these, the things that the tools that we were given, and then we could essentially build Lucy, Lucy's foundation from there. And I still use everything that I learned to this day. All right, socializing Lucy was super easy. Once she had her shots, we just got her mingling with all the pups every day. With all the, she had like a couple of 15, 20 minute walks, um, especially early days because they are pretty young, they get tired very quickly. And then I also took advantage of utilizing some local schools around here, some local primary schools. I just literally got permission from the parents and teachers before and after school, took Lucy down there, and then she played with all the kids, kids poking her eyes and pulling her tail and razzing her up. I just wanted her to be so used to like a family environment because kids aren't a threat and small dogs and other dogs aren't the threat either. So it, I, I highly recommend to expose your dog to as much of this as possible. We also took it to the extreme as well as a small puppy. Once we kind of had toilet training nailed as well and city toilet training, so only going in the grass and uh, in the gardens, not on the concrete, we, um, from, from a very young age, I had her socializing in, in cafes and sitting quietly on the cafe tables and things as we had coffee, because we are always out and about, and I want to be able to involve our dog as much as possible. So we just started doing these things early on. Highly recommend, earlier you do it, easier it gets, and repetition. Number two is tips on education. So I've got a couple of tips here. First of all, get a good trainer, but I do understand the world has changed because of COVID. So if you're in a, uh, in, a, in a state or a city or a country that is in lockdown, say hypothetically like Melbourne, which is about a thousand kilometers away from us, they're in lockdown. They don't have the luxury of getting a trainer. And a lot of people did get puppies over the COVID time. So get a good online trainer. If you have a phone and you have some crappy internet, you have a dog trainer now. The world is changing and there are some fantastic online facilities that you can utilize. And if you can't afford that, well then, there is an amazing amount of knowledge on YouTube, a lot of free knowledge on YouTube, and just Google itself. So, look guys, think outside the box. If you have the internet, honestly, you got the world at your fingertips. All right, number three, how do we get Lucy so responsive? So we utilize two things, her food drive and her toy drive. Now, let's go into food drive first. So when Lucy was a small puppy, we just utilized every meal timing there was for a training session. That's as simple as that. So breakfast and dinner back then for Lucy, they were training sessions. If she didn't want to work, she didn't eat. It was simple as that. But she was always hungry, so she always wanted to work. Now there was the odd time where she was like, nah, I'm not hungry, nah, I don't want to train. And that was it, we just took her food away. But then we tried again a couple of hours later on, and then she was keen to work, keen to eat, and it was and it was a fantastic, uh, fantastic training session. And even to this day, I will still utilize her meal time, her dinner time as a training session. It won't be a 20 minute intensive at the, like in the evenings now because Lucy kind of trains all day, but 
it, I'll still make her do a few commands. I'll make her wait, I might make her come to the heel, I might make her lay down in front of her food for 10 minutes, I'll, until I give her the command that she can have her food. So she still works for her food to this day, and this is a practice I'll never stop. Sit. Sit. This. In your bed. Good girl. And the second one is utilizing her toy drive. So like the food, there's no free toys. Now, what I mean by this is, Lucy doesn't have an abundance of like tug toys and ball toys around the house in the backyard. She does have a couple little things she can chew on to clean her teeth, some dental toys and things like that. But we, I don't have anything ball related or tug related laying around because these are valuable training tools that I use. And you'll see in the videos that I have this orange tug, the red line tug that I like to use, and also a Euro Joe ball, which is the yellow ball and a blue string. These to Lucy, are, they are gods. They are like the Greek gods sitting in the cloud and they control the universe. And to be honest, I think she's actually got more toy drive than food drive. So every play session that we have outside or in the backyard is also a training session. She earns the right to have the reward of the, the game of tug, or the, to play with the ball. So these two tools are fantastic and they're great on the go and I actually prefer to use these reward methods than food reward methods, uh, especially when I'm outside in the city and stuff because I don't wanna to have to carry around a pouch of treats and it's just gross. So I prefer to utilize her toy drive for that. Whew. Now if you've made it this far guys, I bet you've been wondering about the story of Lucy getting attacked yesterday. So let's get into that. But before we do, guys, Australia, for those who haven't been here, or those international viewers that we have, just understand Australia is a beautiful country and I hope everyone in the world gets the uh, privilege of coming to visit this country at least once in their lives. But just be aware, there are a lot of critters and creatures here, large and small, that are all designed to kill you. And Lucy went face to face with one of these yesterday and probably the worst one of all. So, <laughs> so here's some footage here guys. Um, Lucy come face to face with the Australian magpie yesterday. We were just doing some filming. Next thing I see Lucy running around like a psycho and this bird dive bombing. So these birds have a bit of reputation. They are either, they nicknamed the Isis terrorist bird of the skies, they get called devil birds. They will practically ruin your life if you come across them in mating season or like in spring. Males are extremely territorial as Lucy found out yesterday. So, and they, the thing is, there's a funny thing about these birds where they'll actually hold grudges against people they attack and they can remember faces. So Lucy is now on this bird shit list in our local park. Hopefully this afternoon we'll get out of our walk um, uh, unscathed. But Luce, if you do get attacked, Alan, you're on your own. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, a comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.